going to make for dinner today easy pasta so um i guess my little guy got it for me don't like too much big pieces of veggies so i blend just like i always do i make smoothies blend up all the fruits but then put pieces of vegetables and pieces of vegetables in there so he won't really taste much of it but it's still in there for him and for myself <laughs> so I do the same thing sometimes when I make pasta so what I'm going to do is instead of using the pasta sauce I am going to just use make a, a sauce with the vegetables um, to coat the pasta for dinner so I have a piece of red pepper I have some thyme I have some broccoli I have some carrots I'm gonna put some um, garlic I have a piece of green pepper in here and I am going to put some seasoning on it with a little oil I am putting adobo a little accent some black pepper and a little um, turmeric in it and I'm going to put it in my blender and I'm going to blend all of it up and then I'm going to put on the pasta. The pasta is already cooked. So I'm going to just add it to it, to the pot and heat it up and mix it around. So let me go ahead and add all the ingredients to my blender. So here are all my veggies that I'm going to add to my sauce. I have thyme, that's fresh thyme, green pepper, red pepper, my garlic, I have a piece of scallion, broccoli, carrot. So those are the veggies that I have for today. And I'm going to add it to my blender. And let's add my broccoli. Scallion and my garlic. My green pepper. This is a smaller uh, blender. This is not the one. This is not the one that I use to make my smoothie. So this one is a little smaller, so it doesn't pack as much as my smoothie blender. So if you have to blend this and then um, add more items, you can. But I'm gonna add everything, push it down, and then I'm gonna add some. So. This is how it looks. Look how gorgeous that is. Gorgeous. Look how beautiful those colors are. Gorgeous. I'm gonna add the oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. I put it like right there, not too bad. I just want to make sure that I actually get a sauce for the pasta. I'm just going to add some seasoning to it. Some black pepper. Turmeric, please. Turmeric. So 
some adobo. Oopsie. And this adobo is with pepper. So. And some some accent. Last but not least, a little lemon pepper. Now this is how I, this is the seasonings that I use. But you can use whatever seasonings um, you like. And there are a lot of different things that you can um, add to this in terms of seasoning as well as vegetables. I'm going to cover it and blend. Blend it up. There you go. Yeah, more. You can do this as thin as you want or as thick as you want. It's up to you. Your preference. This is a good consistency for me. So my pot is on the stove. It's all blended. Smells so yummy. So I am going to add the pasta to let it warm. And then I'm going to add this over the pasta and mix it in. I tip a little water to the pot so that um, the pasta won't burn because I'm not using oil or anything. Because it's already cooked. I don't want it to um, overcook. So I'm just going to add the pasta to the pot now and mix it up. Adding the Pasta. Just gonna break it up and add my sauce in. Add a little more if you'd like. Like I said, it all depends on what your preference is. I'm gonna add some more, make it juicy, and there you go. And one other thing that I add is I add a little cheese to mine. Sharp cheddar. There you go. Mix it in. And it will be all melted. And it's basically done. Because the pasta is already cooked. I made pasta yesterday. Yeah. Bon appetit. This pasta is healthy. All fruit, vegetables in the sauce. Just a little cheese. But 
it's healthy and it is delicious delicious again you can add whatever vegetables that you like to add to it um, you know it's up to you whatever your taste palette enjoys whatever you like so this is my little version of my no pasta sauce pasta <laughs> there you go drop me a comment down below let me know if you would like to try this and if you actually try this let me know how it turns out for you don't forget to like and subscribe